This conference will now be recorded. Hello, folks. Uh, today is webinar series number 47 with NSA. It's about getting the most out of your Infor data with Focus Business Intelligence. Focus has been a vendor uh, with NSA for quite some time, so we're very pleased to have them uh, doing the presentation today. The topics in today's webinar that we're going to cover is going to be how data analytics will work. Uh, business and individual benefits uh, for stakeholders that are um, managing this data, how it can provide clear and comprehensive picture of business performance. We all know that your Infor ERP has a huge amount of data in it, so how do we make that actionable? And then how data analytics can adopt and grow your business. So today, my name is Brian Weaver. I'm the Vice President of Sales with NSA. So I'm welcoming everybody that's on today's webinar. Thank you for taking the time today. And our presenter today from Focus is Christine Martin. Christine is a Partner Alliance Manager. She's my primary contact uh, with Focus. And she's been in the business for quite some time. She was a salesperson with Avalara for a very long time. It has over 25 plus years experience in sales and specifically in distribution. So with that, Christine, I welcome you and ask you to take it away. Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks everybody for taking the time to join us today. Brian, do you wanna talk about NSA before I get started? Sure, I'll do that a little bit. So for folks that may okay. not be familiar with NSA, um, you know, NSA was founded in 1984. We were the very first reseller of Infor's distribution ERP software back in the day, uh, several iterations of the name of the ERP, et cetera. Um, anyone that's worked with us knows that what our branding is, is our NSA Touch, which is our personal commitment to the success of our clients. We all strive to go above and beyond um, client expectations in terms of assisting you with your Infor ERP, as well as the various add-on products that enhance and add value a uh, great example is the one we're presenting today with Focus BI. Uh, we've got over 15 years of experience on average with our consultants. We have the largest consultant team in the space, including even Infor. And we work very closely with Infor Direct Accounts because uh, we've got the expertise and the bandwidth to be able to assist. Um, we focus 100% on distributors and 100% on SXE and Cloud Suite. That gives us a great strength and expertise in the area. And NSA Plus is what's known as our add-on services uh, around the ERP solution, which uh, is designed to enhance your product. And there you go, Christine. And uh, now I'll ask you to take Thank it away. You. You Thank bet. you so much for that. So like Brian had mentioned, I am the Partner Alliance Manager. I manage the relationship with Focus and the team at NSA. A little bit about Focus before we jump in. We were founded in 2001 in Australia. Right now we've got over 300 employees worldwide. We've got offices in the UK, in New Zealand, Australia, and folks spread out across the United States as well. Of the customers that we've had since 2001, we have a 96% retention rate. And our solutions are meant for manufacturing, wholesale distribution, and retail. And a majority of our customers are in the distribution space. And our main purpose, our main goal in people using Focus and what we've built out with Focus is for it to be easy to use and allow someone that is not necessarily technically savvy able to filter through their data to get answers to their questions. And what we've learned from our customers is there is a fast return on investment on um, buying focus because we have pre-built integrations for SXE, Cloud Suite Distribution, and 200 other integrations as well. And our team has industry knowledge, but we've also partnered with our friends at NSA to enhance that knowledge as well. We are experts in focus. Our friends at NSA are experts at Infor. 
So let's talk about making sense of all of this data. And I kind of liken it to Legos. You may have this giant pile of Legos, which is like this giant pile of data. You may have data coming in from multiple sources, not just in for. It may be data from a trucking system, warehouse management, payroll. All of this kind of sits in this pile, if you will, don't step on it, right? But if you sort it by color, by size, by shape, it's starting to make a little bit more sense. Well, now that I've sorted it, I can arrange it in such a way that maybe I can do something pretty basic with it, but it doesn't look really good. So I take this fully arranged data and I can make something that's visually pleasant and helps me be able to see my data a little bit differently. But when I take all of this, I sort it, I arrange it, I present it visually, maybe I've built this beautiful house or um, the Star Wars, um, uh, there's a, a big Lego thing out there that's Star Wars. So you could take data from something small that's kind of messy and build something quite beautiful that gives you a view of your business. And I kind of also liken this to a Rubik's cube, right? You can also have all of this data in a jumbled mess, but with a couple tips and turns, you can get your data into, and it's a play on word here, into focus. So who can benefit from all of this data? And I kind of answer this in a different way is who can't benefit from this data? I remember sitting in my very first month here at Focus, I went to our Focus user group conference and one of the sessions was led by our customers. And our customers talked about the really cool things that they have done with Focus outside of the box of what they got from an Infor product and that integration with Infor. So on the human resources side, they realized that they had such a high turnover. And the finance side said, hey, you guys are spending $200,000 a year in recruiting fees. We've got to figure out what's going on. So that team had everybody in their company take a personality profile test. We did that recently at one of our offsite meetings. They brought all of those results into focus and they were able to see which personality profiles fit well and exceeded in each department. So as they went to recruit and hire new people, they had these people take that same personality profile test and they were able to see which personalities would do well in each department. And they were also able to help managers um, figure out how to manage people with different personality profiles. So in this instance, this helped not just the finance team because they were trying to bring down those recruiting fees, but it also helped the human resources team as well. In this session that our, our customers were talking about, we had one customer and this one was mind blowing for me. They talked about how they, um, how they use data to manage how much time they spend on the phone with customers, right? So they brought in VOIP call detail records from their office phones. They brought in call detail records from company owned cell phones. They brought in CRM data and all of their sales data. And they were able to see how much time they spend on the phone with customers that don't buy. And on the flip side, how much time don't they spend with their largest customers? So just a couple examples there of what our customers have done that are kind of mind blowing on how they've used data beyond the Infor data, but bringing in other data sources. So those are two examples, sales, finance, human resources, but it could be warehouse management or even who's managing inventory and managing dead stock. All of those things can be made easier and maybe more efficient, just being able to look at data in a different way. So what Focus has done is we've created these standard databases for Infor and again, 200 other systems. And we also allow you to build your own database through what we call Database Designer. 
So by dragging and dropping, you can create a database. You don't have to be a technical person. I spent 25 years in state and local tax. Uh, my first week at Focus, they said, here's an instance of Focus, go build a database. And I thought, oh my goodness, I have no idea what I'm doing. How, how do I do this? It took me a couple days and I was able to bring in data from home, what my electric bill was for the year. I live in Montana, so I brought in the weather for the year. And the obvious result that I got out of my database is when the temperature goes down, my electric bill goes up. But we've created this database designer tool that makes it simple for a non-technical person to be able to join data together, create dimensions, and view data in a new database. Once all of this data is in a database, we give you the opportunity to analyze this data. And I consider this data unemotional data. You can't change the numbers in Focus unless you're using the budgeting tool. They are what they are. These numbers come from the source system, whether that's Infor, the CRM, call detail records, whatever it is, those numbers can't be changed. And we've heard from some of our customers that during a board meeting, they have a computer sitting at the board at the boardroom and it's focus. Whenever they have a question, instead of calling Mary and asking her what happened or calling Bob in the warehouse, they can simply open up focus and answer their questions without bringing in the emotion from other people as well. So while we give you this ability to analyze this data in what looks like Excel, we call it the grid, we also give you the option to visualize this data as well. So maybe looking at it in a grid format doesn't necessarily give you that quick view into what happened with your business. Maybe by looking at it in charts and graphs on a dashboard help as well. So combining all three things together, being able to easily create a database on your own, being able to analyze the data that's sitting in those databases, and then visualizing those pieces of data as well. And if you look at this visualization, I almost think of focus as the center of the universe, if you will, this spoken hub where focus is this repository of data. We can bring in data from Infor, from your CRM, whether it's Salesforce or HubSpot, from Microsoft, from whatever that may be, even e-commerce, even an Excel file that somebody goes in and updates every single day, it sits on your server. Focus can reach out and grab that data from an Excel file and pull it into, here's my play on words again, into focus and once it's in focus this is where you can create these dashboards create visualizations create favorite reports create alerts so that you're not having to go out and look for a problem it can alert you but we've also added on top of that is financial reporting and budgeting and forecasting. So today we're just gonna talk the analytics piece, the business intelligence piece, but our customers came to us and said, you guys have all of this data. It would be really helpful if we could use that data for financial reporting. So with the help of our partners like NSA and our customers, three years ago, Focus built a financial reporting tool. We give you basic financial statements, but allow you to customize those statements. So imagine having two versions of a P&L. They have the same bottom line, but maybe you've got a P&L for your investors that have specific KPIs that they ask for every single month, and one that's a bit more of a basic P&L. You don't have to recreate two things every single month and change it um, each month, you can create those into focus and that data from Infor and if there's other data sources can come into focus and populate those financial statements. Publish those financial statements to a database. Another option for financial statements that we've heard from our customers that are on the mergers and acquisition bandwagon, instead of sending a whole slew of people out to a prospective company that they want to acquire, 
they'll say, hey, send me your data or let me connect into your ERP. They bring in that data into focus and they can look at things like, hey, did sales go up because they sold more or did sales go up because they, they did a price change? And we've got customers that use focus as their go, no go decision maker for acquisitions. And then once they've acquired a company, they've already created this connection so that data can now flow directly into focus and layer on top of everything else that they have. So again, I kind of think about focus as the center of the universe, not just for analytics, but for financial reporting and the budgeting side as well. Like our financial statement product, our customers came back and said, this is great that we can do financial statements, but can you help us with budgets? All of the data that we use for budgeting comes from Focus. It'd be great if we can do it in your tool. So again, working with our customers, working with our partners like NSA, we built a budgeting and forecasting tool. And that's the only spot in Focus that you can change the numbers. 